the sexual assault of the left of the Satanists on our children continues largely unabated. You have you have headlines like this from the Gateway Pundit written by Kristen Taylor. Leading medical groups demand Biden Justice Department and tech platforms crack down on reporters exposing child gender surgeries and puberty blockers. From Breitbart, high school girls banned from their own locker room after voicing concerns about transgender athlete. And finally, the one that I'm really going to focus on here because it brings it all home. Spanish officials' comments on sex education mischaracterized. This is from the AP, and this is the AP's job of trying to whitewash what, what this psychotic communist bitch in Spain said the other day. And what she said, and we are actually going to go through a direct translation of what she said. She said that children have the right to have sex with adults. So, we have this one from the Gateway Pundit. about medical providers wanting the government, the fascist government of the United States, with its partners in the technocracy, to silence those who are uncovering the truth about medical procedures being performed on children without the consent of their parents. Please note that last part, without the consent of their parents. We have the communist Spanish Minister of Equality stating that children have the right to decide to have sex and with whom, including adults. Yes, AP, she actually did say that. We have a massive push over the past, I don't know, five or six years. Actually, I guess it's even less. 
for children to be exposed to sexual deviance like transgenderism, homosexuality, drag shows. You have Ghislaine Maxwell being thrown into prison for being a pederast pimp or a pedophile pimp. Part of the evidence used against her was a book listing the clients for whom she provided children to be raped. But the government of the United States would not allow that list to be made public. There's a whole lot of things going on here, folks. But of all the evil that is currently going on in this world, and there's a lot of it, of all the evil currently going on in this world, this is by far, hands down, the worst. And like always, there is not only the reason that appears on the surface that this is happening. There is not only the material world reasons why this is happening, but there are also the spiritual reasons why this is happening. One of the reasons why this is happening from the material world sense and the one that is most obvious is the fact that this world has once again managed to develop a group of social and political elites who are rich and powerful and believe themselves to be above and beyond the laws of petty man and their petty religions. They are intellectually superior to us, and that intellectual superiority leads them to conclude that they are better than every other human on the face of the planet, and they are allowed to indulge themselves in those things that the average person is not allowed to indulge in. This is, of course, nothing new. Any of your tyrants all throughout history had the same illusions 
that they were somehow superior to their fellow man. Most of royalty throughout history wrapped themselves in the lie that they were descended from deity such that they even deified themselves and themselves being deities themselves being chosen by God to rule they could make up their own rules for themselves So again, this is nothing new. As Solomon states in Ecclesiastes, there is nothing new under the sun. And this kind of evil is unfortunately not new. It was held at bay in Western civilization. And the reason that it was held at bay in Western civilization for a period of time is because Western civilization was ruled, was founded on Christian principles. If you disagree with this, by all means, go ahead and let me know at Doc Bryant's show at zohomail.com, that's z-o-h-o-mail.com. I would love to hear your comments. But the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, that Christianity shaped Western civilization. It was Christianity that caused Western civilization to end global slavery, and many other global evils, not the least of which was pedophilia. Now, of course, it didn't end them per se. It made them illegal. It forced them into the shadows where they belonged. We humans cannot end evil we will not be the ones to end evil, although evil will end. But slowly but surely, philosophy took the place of faith and twisted twisted people's minds into believing that sin was not evil Rather, it was different. It was something that should not be shunned, but something that should be tolerated. And shortly after, it is something that should be celebrated, and shortly after that, it is something that everyone should indulge in, and shortly after that, it is something that should actually dominate and become the religion such that what was once called good is now called evil, and that which was once called evil is now considered good. A switch 180 degrees out of phase with the way 
It was designed by God. And that is, after all, the end game of Satan take that which was designed by God and twist it 180 degrees out of phase. And I suppose there is actually a further end game to that, that being Satan's ability to take as many humans with him into hell as he can, thus indirectly punishing God by causing God as much pain as he can. And there's part of me You see, everyone who, every human who engages in sin, and that would be every human, has been deceived to a certain extent. But to engage in sin they do so for the most part, willingly, knowing that what they are doing is wrong, but doing it anyway. All of us have a conscience. All of us are held to account only for what we know. And if we do something that we know is wrong, we are to be held account to account for it. And so, a lot of these people who are doing wickedly have themselves been victims of wickedness, as we all have. But still, to indulge in this kind of stuff, willingly, knowingly, and knowing it is wrong, I'm afraid there is no excuse for that. None whatsoever. And as I said in, in, in the intro to this, I believe that this is the absolute highest form of wickedness, the absolute highest form of evil. This is intentionally not only taking advantage of, but doing irreparable damage to the most vulnerable members of our society. And why do they do this? Well, as, as I said earlier, the reason on the surface is because these global elites believe themselves to be above the law. They are evil. They are evil. And they do it because it brings them pleasure. Because they can. And ladies and gentlemen, it's just, it's much more than just being able to It's much more than just bringing physical pleasure. It brings them pleasure because it gives them 100% power over another human individual. 
That is what sexual assault is about. That is what rape is about. It is about power. It is about control. The ability to cause pain to another human being. And that other human being being completely helpless. That is the kind of pleasure that these people, and I hesitate to even use that term when referring to them, but that is the kind of pleasure that these monsters, these demons, get from pedophilia. Still, there is a spiritual reason for all of this, and one doesn't have to look very far to find out what that is. Wait, wait, I'm not going to get to that because there's a political reason to this as well. There is a political reason for this as well. You have the carnal reason, which is the pleasure that it brings to these twisted, demonic individuals. The political reason is that it severs the ties between children and their parents. It destroys that which is supposed to be the foundational unit of any culture, of any society, which is the family. The nuclear family, a mother, a father, and children. Pedophilia destroys that. Sexual deviance destroys that. And if the children do not have parents upon whom they can rely, they must rely upon the government. through their teachers. You wonder why all of these teachers, these satanic, blue-haired lunatics, are gloating on TikTok about the access that they have to your children and about how they are going to take your children from you, how the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus can sing openly about coming for your children. They want to replace the parents. They want to replace the parents. That is the political angle. The spiritual angle, all you have to do is take a look at the psychological trauma of someone who was sexually abused as a child. It destroys them. And if you can break someone 
as a child, they remain or likely will remain broken as an adult. And if you can dominate them as a child, you will be able to dominate them as an adult. This is the most evil thing in the world today. Let's get to that Spanish minister. An excellent article written in the AmericanConservative.com. And this person echoes something that I have been saying for a long time, that the entire goal, the end game of the sexual deviance tolerance movement has been pedophilia. That has been their end game from the beginning, from the very moment that they started talking about homosexuality as being nothing more than an alternative lifestyle. And after homosexuality has been accepted and celebrated, then we must allow for homosexual marriage. a counterfeit of the traditional family which was founded and designed by God. And then we must allow for gender bending. Men to be women and women to be men and, and or none of the above. And then finally to allow children to be raped by the powerful. All of this in the name of tolerance and diversity. This is their end game. the destruction of the family, the destruction of children, and with the destruction of the family, and with the destruction of children, the destruction of society. The conservative, or I'm sorry, the American conservative... Headline, Sex with Children, the Gender Ideology End Game. This is written by Rod Dreher, D-R-E-H-E-R. -E -E Dateline, September 23rd, 2022. Irena Montero a communist who is the Minister of Equality in the left-wing Podemos government in Spain, says the quiet part out loud that equality means children have the right to have sex if they want to. This is the end game of these queer theorists and gender ideologues, the sexualization of children. It was always going to end up here. This, ladies and gentlemen, like I have always said, was the target. This is what all these drag queen story hours mean and these quote, family-friendly drag shows, end quote. It's all about sexualizing children and grooming them to become prey for pedophiles. 
Did they even go this far in Weimar, Germany, he asks. How much more of this are we prepared to tolerate? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the question. You see, if we approach this merely from a secular standpoint, we are going to get only secular results. Like all other evil in this world, the secular is just the surface. It's not the root cause. If all we do is elect some politicians who currently support our beliefs and pass laws that currently reflect our beliefs, then for a short period of time we will have success until those politicians that we elected are themselves corrupted and until the courts who are unelected twist the laws that were passed to say things they were never intended to say. The root cause of evil is spiritual. And if we do not address the spiritual, if we do not turn to God, the real God, not one that you made up, not one that you made in your own image, the real God who created the universe, this planet, and you. then all of the changes that we make secularly will be temporary if we do turn to him. Then there is absolutely nothing that Satan and his followers can do to stop us. I continue with the story. I note that Hungary is hated by some Western European governments because it will not put up with this crap, because the Hungarians have understood from the beginning what is at the heart of this corruption, and that is true, both Hungary and Poland have gone full-on Christian the likes of which I was just talking about. Indeed, Poland has declared that Jesus Christ is King of Poland. And because of that, they are reviled by the Luciferian leftists in progressive Europe. Balaz Orban writes, Karl Popper, the intellectual mentor of George Soros and the father of the open society ideology, views reproductive rights as a weapon for, quote, class struggle, end quote. He who controls family policy and reproductive rights controls the future, which is why the left is so preoccupied with the issue of parenting and child rearing. As they started spreading this woke nonsense in Hungary, our government decided to act. 
Last year, the Hungarian parliament passed the Child Protection Act, enshrining into law that the right of sexual education of children belongs exclusively to parents, and our kids must be protected from age-inappropriate content in the media and on the Internet. With the passing of this legislation, Hungary went from being the black sheep of the European Union to being the punching bag for second-tier Western European politicians who consequently decided to halt EU financial transfers to which Hungary is legally entitled. We decided to hold a referendum with the aim of proving what we already knew, that the majority of Hungarians agree with the government's position on this issue, namely on the question of holding sexual orientation classes in schools without parental consent, promotion of hormone and castration treatments on minors and unrestricted exposure of our children to sexually explicit media content. The result spoke for itself, with one of the highest turnouts in the history of Hungarian referenda, 92% of voters claimed that they support the legislation restricting minors' exposure to such content in public schools. What did the EU do? They punished Hungary even further. European Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen effectively admitted yesterday that the EU pursues only rule or pursues phony quote rule of law end quote charges against Poland and Hungary to punish the people of those countries for electing right wing governments of which the EU does not approve. This is the same. Communist bitch. Von der Leyen. The same communist bitch who said that if Italy elects a conservative government, the EU has, quote, tools, end quote, at their disposal to use against the people of Italy for voting the way that they want. Ladies and gentlemen, that language is nothing less than fascism. That is totalitarianism. These people are evil. These are the Nazis that were sent down into their hidey holes back in the 1940s. They have come back. Do you think for half a second that it is a coincidence that Germany controls the World Bank? Do you think that, is a, that it is a coincidence that the World Economic Forum is being led by a man whose father was a Nazi? Do you think that it is a coincidence that George Soros, who is pushing all of this evil all over the world, was someone who worked for the Nazis? Do you think it's a coincidence? If you do, you're a fool. These people are evil. These are Satan's children. I continue. These Eurocrats screamed bloody murder when the Hungarian parliament passed the anti-gender propaganda for minors law. But do you think von der Leyen or Brussels will say a word about what this Spanish left-wing minister of state has said about child sex? Of course not. Meanwhile, here in America, Matt Walsh and his allies are exposing the sick cult of child sex mutilation that has overtaken American medicine. Ladies and gentlemen, 
in that Gateway Pundit article, the AMA is pushing for this. Okay? Let's take a real quick look here. The American Academy of Pediatrics and the Children's Hospital Association. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read directly from this. Well, it worked for the National School Board Association, leading medical organizations, the American Medical Association, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the Children's Hospital Association released a letter Monday addressed to the Biden Attorney General Merrick Garland demanding action to investigate and crack down on reporters who have exposed hospitals across the country for per performing gender surgery on children as young as 14 and 15, while also giving puberty-blocking chemicals to children. Crack down on reporters who are exposing this? Do we not have a First Amendment in the United States anymore? And if you are worried about this being exposed, then you must be doing something wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, the AMA, the AAP, and the Children's Hospital Association. This is evil. And this is evil that needs to be dealt with swiftly, soundly. This is no longer a matter of people losing their jobs. This is a matter of people going to prison for life. Back to the American Conservative article. I repeat, meanwhile, here in America, Matt Walsh and his allies are exposing the sick cult of child sex mutilation that has overtaken American medicine and is daring the Republican Party to man up and do something about it to protect children. It then quotes a Matt Walsh tweet Hi, Republican 2022 candidates. We have gone ahead and made gender ideology, child mutilation, and child sexual indoctrination major national issues. They're also winning political issues. All you have to do is take the reins. We're trying to hand you. Will the GOP candidates rise to the occasion? We will see. It is time to start putting Biden, Pelosi, and every Democratic official on the spot and force them to defend this barbarism. We have seen, however, that they will not defend the barbarism directly. I now move to the AP article. What they are doing is they are obfuscating the issue. They are saying what they usually say when they get caught with their hands in the cookie jar. They are saying, well, we never said that, or that's not what we meant, or the ever-popular, that was taken out of context. I now read from the AP News article written by Philip Marcello on September 28, 2022. Spanish officials' comments on sex education mischaracterized and and they they write it out as one of these fact checker type articles claim spain's minister of equality said during a parliamentary hearing that children should have the right to consent to sex with adults this is the funny part that's the claim 
She said, or they're claiming, Spain's Minister of Equality said during a parliamentary hearing that children should have the right to consent to sex with adults. Now AP's assessment. Ooh, false. Okay, so they are now saying that the previous claim is false. Now hear what they have to say. Irene, Irene Montero's uh Irena Montero, Spain's Minister of Equality, did not suggest this when she spoke before a legislative commission last week. The left-wing politician was discussing provisions in a proposed abortion law that deal with sex education programs, including material about consent. A short video clip of her remarks was taken out of context. The facts... Social media users are sharing the video in recent days to push the baseless claim that the prominent Spanish progressive was promoting pedophilia. Was she not? The clip comes from Montero's September 21st appearance before the Spanish Legislature's Commission on Equality. She was addressing reproductive rights, which we just heard about in the American Conservative article. Uh, da, 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 da. Reproductive rights currently pending before Parliament. Spain's Minister of Equality, Irene Montero. Children have the right to consent to sexual relations with adults, wrote one Instagram user who shared the clip of her remarks on Wednesday. The post received more than 4,000 likes, but Montero said nothing of the sort. The translation as if Spanish was somehow difficult to translate into American. This is not Chinese. This is not Japanese. It is not Russian. Spanish is very easy to translate directly into English. The translation included with many of the video clips circulating online shows the minister was speaking about sex education. She had been arguing that the sexual and reproductive rights that the legislation is seeking to enshrine into law are fundamental to a democracy. No, they are not. Quote, but to talk about sex education, for example, which is a right of boys and girls regardless of who they are, Montero said in Spanish, every boy, every girl, every trans child, there is no such thing as a trans child. Let me repeat, there is no such thing as a trans child. Every Behind every single so-called trans child is a parent suffering from Munchausen's by proxy and victimizing that child as a result. I continue. In this country, every trans child in this country has a right to know their own body as if it's somehow a mystery. To know that no adult can touch their body if they don't want them to stop right there, end it. She said it. She absolutely 100% said it. To know that no adult can touch their body if they don't want them to. By extension, if they do want them to, if they do give them consent, then it's perfectly all right. She said it. She said it. Right there. But I continue. They have the right to know that they can love and have sexual relations with anyone that they want based on mutual consent ladies and gentlemen are you, this if you buy into this you are just as insane as this woman is this throws out everything that is known about child development children do not 
have the capacity to give consent for sex because they do not understand all that sex involves. Children are incapable of giving consent to sex. It is something they cannot do. And by the way, if an adult can convince a child to have sex or in some other way pressure a child into sex such that the child appears to give consent, that is not consent. Children cannot give consent to sex. They are incapable of giving consent to sex. This is evil. And we have right there in the translation of what she said, and it shows that the AP is lying. She did indeed right there say that children have the right to have sex with adults as if that were even possible. You see what they're doing there, right? What she's doing with that statement and this, believe me, trust me when I tell you that all of a sudden this kind of statement is going to be all over the place in the not-too-far future. They are going to put the onus on children. It's not about the, it's not about the adults that want to have sex with children. It's about the children who want to have sex with adults. It's their right. This is satanic. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gone down a very, very, very bad road. It's times like these. You know how I've frequently said that I do not think that there is going to be a World War III, then I think that the world will be able to pull out of that. I think all it's going to take is a couple of elections in the United States and the world will pull away from the brink of World War III. Well, when I see stuff like this, I start to question whether or not that's a good thing. Because when I see stuff like this, and I look back on the history, and wonder if the Nuremberg trials actually did any good at all. Because trials superimpose civility on behavior that is far from civilized.
with behavior like this, with evil like this, is a trial really enough? Or is war what is really necessary to deal with the likes of these people? But we are indeed at war. They certainly have been at war with us for a very long time. And they've been acting like it. And we have just been sitting around and allowing it to happen till the point that we have now gotten where a politician can say in public that children should be allowed to have sex with adults. And then I remember Ephesians 6.12 We are not at war with flesh and blood. We are at war with Satan. And the way that we defeat Satan is we resist him. And the way that we resist him is not only in the material world, but most especially in the spiritual realm with our prayers. Because another point is, we could never have gotten this far if the Christians in the church had been praying, if the church in the West had been healthy. And that, as I said earlier, is the real remedy to this situation. So if you are a Christian listening to this broadcast, you need to be praying about this constantly every single time you see a story like this. You need to pray about it every time it pops into your head. No matter what you are doing, no matter where you are, you need to be praying about stuff like this. That is the only way that any of this is going to actually change. This is a call to spiritual arms, ladies and gentlemen. Get off your asses. Get on your knees. And get to work.